In this episode, I would like us to install Inertia. So I would like us to just head right to the Inertia website. So let me just open Google Chrome and see how I can be able to install Inertia. And as uh, we open it, I would like to also just open terminal so i will just click here and go to terminal because you'll be using terminal to install i want to just inertia js visit that website when we open the website we have several things and i would just like us to go direct and look at uh, the documentation and i want us to begin with server side installation and under this i want us to install inertia the package that will be the first thing that I would like us to install. So I paste it here and press enter. As you can see, it is installing. I'm going to pause temporarily. Inertia is fully installed. And so I would like us to go ahead and uh, run the middleware. So uh, you paste this one here also. So let me just clear the terminal. And we can just paste um, PHP Artisan Inertia middleware. And the middleware is created. We can be able to see where the middleware is. So you go to app HTTP middleware and our middleware is called handle inertia requests. And as you open this middleware, you can see that the root view is up. So you will see that uh, when we go to our resources uh, views, we will create app.blade.php. So it is the one that is the root view. And of course, if you want to use something else, you can be able to change it here. But it's just good to work with the defaults. And then this one, we will handle versioning of our application. If there are any changes, you can be able to give the versions maybe some letters to define one, one version to another so that if the letter changes, then Inertia will be able to check again and recompile everything for you. And then after that, we have... Uh, share and here we have shared data we can be able to share our data here whatever it is that we want accessible throughout the application for example flash messaging and uh, maybe the authenticated user and so on and so forth we can be able to put those ones here and basically that is how the inertia handle handle inertia requests middleware looks like but of course for any middleware even if we have created our own middleware we are supposed to register it somewhere so in this case is when you're going to register under web so i'm going to copy this line of code and then we are going to go to kernel so in this case kernel is located um, under app the app folder http then you have kernel and then inside here we have very many middlewares re registered these ones um general middlewares that uh, do not work in a specific uh, domain but uh, we have two middlewares here a group of middlewares which work for api and web but this one we are going to add to web the inertia middleware in this case i'm going to paste it there that's good enough so the next thing that I would like us to do is to go to and copy whatever it is that we have here, what we have here, and as we copy it, we are going to paste it or create a file inside resources views, a file called app.blade.php, and I would just like to change this one. The one that we have here called welcome, I'm going to just rename it, and I will rename it to app. app dot blade dot php and i will open it and i will delete everything that is inside i will replace everything that is inside with what we have from uh inertia so basically that is what we are going to do and uh after that i think uh we can be able also to go and look at what you're supposed to do on the client side because this is what we were supposed to do on the server side and i believe we have done everything the one for creating responses this one you deal with it at a later time but let us just go ahead and uh, do something on the client side so in this case on the side where we are having Vue.js. so on the client side we are supposed to install a dependency for inertia so npm install inertia js v3 that is what I'm going to do now. So let me just move the terminal a little bit upwards and I'm going to paste that one. npm install at inertia view 3 and you give it time to install. I will post the video. It is fully installed and uh, the next thing now in our app.js in our, in our resources app.js we are going to paste this uh, portion of code. 
And so you can see we have resources, we have views. This is where we have created app.bed. Then we have a file called, a folder called JS and we have app.js. So inside here, I want to replace everything here and I would like to just paste what we have gotten from um, the Inertia website. But also I would like to do something a little bit more and this is to just ensure that we our loaders are functioning so let me do something about that as you saw in our in our demo application we were having a spinner on the top right corner and that is what i would like us to just do something about so i'm going to write here progress and then uh, in this progress we are going to create several things about the progress indicator so the delay delay we are going to set it to 250 milliseconds and then color the color i'm going to use uh, some shade of blue so in this case we're just going to have hash 29 29d as the color code you put a comma and then include css css uh, the css for the progress indicators in this case i will set to true and these ones are all from inertia and then show spinner show spinner in this case for showing spinner i want it to be true such that you will be able to see whenever now you click maybe on a link you have the spinner going round or maybe if you are doing a post request you have the spinner going round until maybe the request is done or something of that sort so this is uh, what i wanted to be the addition and i think in terms of uh, setting up inertia we are almost there i would like to just go ahead and do something small and uh, so the inside our js folder we are going to have another folder called pages as you can see in our um, create inertia app we are resolving pages and then the page name dot view so basically every page that we are having for this application we are going to have it in a folder called pages pages like that and i would just like to create um one page so in this case let me call this one home home dot view and we actually use this one for one of the things that we are going to do maybe we have script setup i want to use uh, the composition api so that is how i have it and it's usually a little bit very easy to, to to work with template like that and inside here i just want to have h1 and this h1 says hello inertia laravel view like that so that is what i want us to return and um i would like to just go to routes that is web.php and instead of returning the view welcome i'm going to change this and write home but now we will not say return view this one i want us to say return inertia like that return inertia just like that and this one we can be able to use it the way it is and let us attempt and uh, start the application server by running php artisan serve and see if we can be able to load this home view so let me just see if our application is running if everything is fine our application will be running but there's something that we have not done we have not run npm run dev so it's also important to compile the assets using vite.js so npm npm run dev so it you compile the assets and then once it's compiled the assets are compiled we can be able to refresh and see if we can be able to have whatever it is that we we want to to have shown so it's loading let us give it some time yes now you can see hello inertia laravel view and that is uh the end of this uh segment thank you very much